Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we began to basically replace many of our aging locomotives with new diesel power, resulting in only one steam engine left in active revenue service, which would be the 462 Pacific in charge of Express Train B between Leventon and Black... Well, hold on. Where is that train anyway? I might need to look it up. But other than that, in this episode, we're going to basically operate the steam engine for one last round trip. And eventually retire it for good, because I believe it's time for a change. My locomotives are all diesel now, and they need, and I need better motive power. But first of all, we need to fix this problem. There is, in fact, a way I can build a bridge over this river. Which could be very beneficial. We also got a new bus. A flux to a high level. A new airplane, the Comet. And a new electric engine, the G General Electric E44 freight engine. Which would be very useful. As well as some newer coaches, as well as a pair of them. Which we'll basically just use primarily on our electric freights. I also gotta get rid of the catenary system. And we'll also need to place down a bridge over this river. Hmm. We'll just use this one. We'll build a track over this river. Do the same here, and then just convert that track to this one. With that done, all I just have to do now is just do this. Well, first of all, I need to make sure that this track is nice and straight, and not basically on a bump. Like that, that does not look good. Basically, put the track here and extend the track out a bit. And then we'll curve it up and we'll basically connect it here. Perfect. Now we got a new spare track route in case of any freight trains need to use it. And, one of my commuter trains can at least use this new route to get to its destination. Which reminds me, I need to upgrade this signal here. Now that there's a switch ahead, I need to have this particular signal in place. I use the two aspect signals because they're often used primarily to indicate which track is set. Like the top signal will basically indicate if the track ahead is clear to be used, and the bottom signal is that the other track will be straight. Now, with that out of the way, we still gotta figure out how to get these trains on the move again, as they're blocking our way immensely. I also, by the way, added a new mod that basically replaces, well, it adds a generic version of those gondolas that, well, we had them for a while, but I feel like it's time to use these new ones. So let's see, freight train, I need to replace these gondolas that we have in this consist with, the, with a better version of those. Wait, did I actually get rid of one of those flat cars? I better be careful about that. And... Okay, I didn't. That's good. Now then, let's see. 40-foot gondolas. I need to see if I can find that list. Uh, hmm. Well, there's the fuel tenders. 
Uh, odd. They should be in this list. Oh, wait. Maybe it's because it comes out a little later. Dang. Well, I could at least wait a little while, I think. But once they come out, I'll replace those Bethlehem steel gondolas with the, with the correct variants. Although, I could just use a couple of these. Yeah, this one will do much better. 360 units of steel. But now, I think I also need to replace some of the aging electric traction. Let's see. There's already one train carrying electric carrying gold gold bars but I need to find the electric freight yeah this one needs to be replaced this one this one is carrying silver ore and let's see the silver ore goes to a silver smelter well the electric engine does have a good bogey system and is able to go around tight curves, so I think I'll just leave it as it is. But I'll need to set up another freight train with that electric engine in mind. Like, this one for Cedar Point. I think I know the perf- Since this cigarette factory now has both tobacco and soon eventually paper, I might as well start serving that line up. So... We'll connect this, this station at Shinetown West and go up to Cedar Point Sidings. This will be, let's see, Freight Train 11. So that will be Freight Train. So this will be Freight Train Town Supply 12A. And it's carrying cigarettes. It will fill up with a load of cigarettes and bring it, and basically make a delivery of it. Now, let's see, let's get that electric train in check. Let's see, electric, General Electric, forty E forty four, seventy miles an hour. But that's a pretty good amount of power. Now, let's see, any cargo type. Cigarettes. We'll basically just use a bit of these freight cars. I know this is... Wait, why that? Well, some gondolas were capable of handling loads of... They were capable of handling freight cars, well, boxes and crates, so I don't see a problem with that. Same with these flatbeds, too. Okay, let's see. Five hundred and ten units. That's a Pretty good amount. We'll place down this new caboose. $84.9 million. That's a pretty amount of money. And put it to work on the new service. Oh! Missing track. The track is not electrified. But it should be, though. Yeah, the line leading to that is already a bit electrified. Unless... Oh, this route into town is not actually electrified at all. I didn't realize that. Well, let's just get this done. Alright, now with that out of the way, we can at least put it onto the new service. Now let's see. They also need food products, so I could also, you know, I 
could actually bring a freight train of food products by rail from this factory. So let's see. I'll just put the electric trains on this track and save the other two for, deliver for the trains delivering supplies. Also, I've been thinking that the trains carrying the loads of sugar also might need to have a better car to carry them. Then let's see. Farm products. This one is carrying grain. Uh, let's see. That's coffee beans. Uh, that's lot. That's tobacco. Ah, here we go. Sugar cane. So, freight train for B at this one. Let's see. Can these car? Let me see if I can basically use the new covered hopper. Let's see. Sugar. And the cars I can use for sugar are... Oh! There's no covered hopper to carry the loads of sugar cane. Huh. I originally thought it was possible. Also, we have access to the new commuter train, so we might as well take care of that. Let's see. Any cargo type. It'll be expensive, but at least these new silver liners are a little more modern. Albeit those ones are pensy marked. Anyway, with that being said, hmm. What else is causing these backlogs? Maybe I might have to basically... You know what? Before we continue, I think I might have a better solution. So, the track here... I'm deleting this track right now. Because the new line that I'm going to build is basically going to spur off of the main line here. So any trains that need to go onto that Y can basically use the track on the left instead of traveling all the way to the Y track. That will basically allow more trains to travel on this line and basically avoid gridlock. Though I also need to set up some new signals to replace the old ones. And also to place some new signals in the way. Alright. With that out of the way, let's basically... Hmm. Where is it? Where is that single gantry? Ah, here we go. We'll have a four-track span of the single gantry over the main line. As well as here. And here as well. And since the signal ahead, track ahead goes towards the fruit juice packaging plant, I might as well basically make it a double aspect signal. Just do the signals here, here, and here. Do a double aspect signal. Convert that into that. And... Hold on. Train 48 is having no... Oh! Crud. That train's supposed to head back to the factory. Hmm, actually, let me see. First time I'm using a triple aspect, but this is for the emergency. There. Now, let's see. Oh, crud, all the trains will basically converge onto this track. That is not good. But... Other than that, though, hmm, Longhorn's actually growing pretty well. 
it has all the cargoes, but... Ugh. Jeez. More gridlock. I gotta figure out a way to keep this gridlock from basically affecting my railroad too much. Actually, I'm getting rid of this. I mean, sure, it's not supposed to be this way, but... I need the tracks to be set. Alright. So I need to set up a new set of track. Let's see. Hmm. I'm only making this track temporary. But yeah, this new route right here is going to be very efficient for all my trains traveling in this area. Once that train of asshole hits onto this line, I'll delete it and then everything should be back to normal. Speaking of which, I'm going to basically pause the date speed, because this day of 1960, this will basically be the last run of the railroad's last steam engine in service, of our 462 Pacific. Now, let me see. Freight Train E. Lemonburg. Let's see. The, the firewell run will occur once number the Pacific returns back to the end turns back to the main station at near Leamington. But with the new signaling system, all trains that have to go on to this track will go on to the track, thus freeing space on this line. And with this new line here, it should be very convenient for our local passenger trains. While this is also going on, let me see, I might as well set up a new route. Full load, 10 minutes. This is going to be freight train TS-12, I believe. TS-12B, which is carrying foodstuffs. It will travel from the Riverside Freight Riverside Food Processing Plant and take it to Cedar Point Sightings. Now, let's see. Let's acquire a new electric train. The pair of GE-44s and its cargo will basically... Prime since it is only carrying bread products, it's not going to really need a lot of unique pieces of equipment. Let's see. Food. Since it is the 60s, I thought maybe also add some of these unique 60-era freight car colors. Let's see. What other car that has some unique color schemes? Now with that out of the way, let's get a caboose for this train. Bay window caboose. And I'll basically put it into service. There we go. Now food service will finally start... Now food, once at the Riverside Food Processing Plant, will now start producing food, and the train will pick it up and take it up the main, up the electrified mainline. 
We still gotta get some cargo made at Shinestown, that's for sure. We need both general goods and lubricants. But at least, however, our new commuter trains are gonna basically be much more efficient. Let's see. You know, I have actually have a check to see how much of my vehicles have been making a profit lately. Oh my gosh, all those delays have made almost every one of my trains basically very unprofitable. But at least, however, I still have a profitable bus, truck, and trolley system, passenger service, express, and freight. So, and this train carrying graves is basically making me over 40.3 million. Which is a pretty good amount of money. Speaking of which... Hmm. There's only a pack freight train that goes down this way. There's still a lot of gridlock in this area. For some darn reason. How is this train basically not allowed to basically continue on the main line? Oh, because there's already a set of signals. I'll have to remedy that. There. Much better. At least more trains could still use the same route. Where is that last train? Oh, it's heading into Greenwood. Well, heading towards Greenwood. But it will be kind of ceremonious. This 462 Pacific has been running on my river for a number of years. Although it's age, it's already past its life for its age. Pacific has still done pretty well in passenger service, if it still counts. Hmm. Still a lot of gridlock around in this area. Maybe I might have to build a freight line that bypasses the city and reverses back up here. I might also have to replace this crossing with a bridge because there's so many darn trains coming in and out. Hardly any of my trucks are being able to get to their destinations. But I think we'll basically cover that in the next episode. But if we basically have a look at our standings now, our value is starting to go back up compared to the previous, and our profits are not as great as they once were. But, however, our company is still making a decent profit either way. And our headquarters is basically at 60. Which is still good. But I think in the next episode, we'll basically try to serve this lemon and calcium carbonate plant. Where it's load and along with stone are required here. But other than that, I think we've reached a good ending point for today's episode. If you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2 Free Mode Edition, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Oh, and before we go, I'll be sure to be adding this recording of the Pacific on its final maiden run. So other than that, I'll see you all next time. Bye!